All right, guys, today in front of me, I have a few samples here from Journeyman Distillery out of Three Oaks, Michigan. Um, the team was kind enough to send me over a few samples here to review on the channel. Uh, by the way, they have a ton of different spirits that they offer over there at Journeyman Distillery. Um, they have vodkas and gins, different flavored whiskeys. Um, so here we have the corsets, whips, and whiskey. We have their field rye. We have their last feather rye. And then we have the pit spitter cherry flavored whiskey. Definitely excited to get into these guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the Last Feather Rye. I know this is one of their staples and foundation whiskeys um, over there at Journeyman Distillery. This one comes in at 90 proof. Mash bill on this one is 60% rye, 40% wheat. It is organic, kosher, and also gluten-free. Let's get in the nose. So on the nose, the first two things that I get there further into the glass is a little bit of lemon and then a little bit of clove. Uh, further away from the glass, I do get like a, uh, it's it's very kind of baking spice forward a little bit further away from the glass. So I do pick up like a kind of a big burst of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg in there. Yeah, but that, kind of, that clove and like that lemon mixture kind of dominate like further into the glass. Further away, again, it starts to get kind of like um, baking spice forward. Again, there is a little bit of um, some nutmeg, a little bit of uh, cinnamon in there. And there's like the slightest bit of some star anise. Really nice nose though. Let's get the palate, guys. Cheers. So for a 90 proof for that, um, that first initial shock of like rye, um, that big burst of rye, definitely took me by surprise. That clove that I was getting on the nose is definitely present from the front to mid palate. I do start to pick up a little bit of like, um, like some brown sugar, some lemon there that start to appear on the middle of the palate. There's definitely like some uh, kind of like softer kind of fruity notes, uh, maybe a little bit of peach there on the, on the back of the palate with some uh, like a mixture of white and black pepper. It's really good. Let's get in the last sip, guys. Cheers. With the with the clove, there's almost like this. Um, it's almost like this, like slight kind of smokiness, or, um, or or maybe it's a little bit of that that oak uh, that's influencing it to kind of give it that like almost like a smoked clove. Um, again, there's there's some lemon in there. There's definitely a little bit of baking spices now that that uh, that initial rye burst like kind of went away. It's more of like a a nutmeg, um, maybe a little bit of allspice kind of in there. Not getting a lot of that. A lot of that cinnamon is not is not there um, on that second sip. But then back of the palate again, it, it has like this kind of softness, um, fruitiness, and then some like a, that mixture of like white and black pepper that kind of follow through. Pretty good stuff here again from Journeyman Distillery. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get into their corsets, whips, and whiskey. Uh, this one is 100% wheat. 117 proof and this one actually won several different awards um it won uh best in show in the ascots and also won um platinum at the sip awards let's get in the nose wow now that has a very brown sugared caramel vanilla fudge further into the glass further away from the glass it's like it's like baking spice meets um like some soft kind of delicate fruits further away a lot going on on the nose on this one I do pick up like a hint of some leather further away as well as some like sweet oak. Um, and then there's, again, some, definitely some baking spices kind of going on there. But further into the glass, it is like brown sugared, marshmallow, caramel, vanilla kind of sweetness there on the uh, on the nose further into the glass. Really nice. Let's get in the palate, guys. Cheers. Wow, that is good. I don't know if I've ever tasted anything like that before. Man, that is, that is so, there's so much toffee and candy sweetness on that. It has a, it has a really nice kind of spice to it, but I think that was from the proof. With it being 100% wheat, you're not going to get that. So it was definitely that, that proof bite that sat there on the middle of the palate. Slight hint of like some sweet oak and leather that kind of pulled through into the end of that one. But there is like a slight kind of fruitiness there. There's like a, it's like a fruitiness that's just very, very subtle and kind of just like lays across the palate. Can't quite pick out what it is exactly. Wow, but that is, that's a flavor bomb right there. Damn, that's good. Let's get a last sip, guys. There is so much toffee 
sweetness on that. Again, it's toffee, caramel sweetness up at the front. Middle of the palate kind of opened up for like a little bit, like a slight, slight hint of um, like some cinnamon. Kind of mingles together there. Back of the palate, um, again, it's it's like this, like some this subtle kind of fruit that kind of sits there. And then it's like a like one of those little caramel kind of cubes and like some vanilla fudge that you kind of just like mingle together and eat. And that's kind of what you're getting. Beautiful proof point on this one. Um, this is this is really good. This is this is very very good. I will be looking for a bottle um, of this for sure. Um, again, this is a fantastic pour here from Journeyman Distillery. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get into their field ride. This is a small batch fig flavored whiskey that utilizes the uh, the last feather rye as its foundation. Um, so they use Black Mission figs and uh, finish them in the um, the last feather rye again, which is that that is uh, the foundation of this whiskey. Um, Let's get a nose on this one. I get a lot of fig influence on, on this one. A lot of that kind of darker, uh, again, that like the darkness and and that that fig. I actually get a little bit of like some plum on there as well. But then further into the glass, further into the glass, I pick up some of that that clove that I was getting on um on that on that uh, that rye. It's definitely present there. Um, you do have to kind of search for it past that um, past that fig, but it's definitely there. A little bit of kind of like cinnamon, some some baking spices in there as well. Let's get the palate, guys. Cheers. See, so on the palate, I don't get I don't get that fig influence as much as I did on the nose. On the nose, it is it's almost overly dominating the nose. On the palate completely completely like switches everything i get more of that rye uh, i get more of that clove and some of those baking spices like that smoky kind of clove but then like on the back of the palate is where that that fig starts to kind of come through back half of the palate is like it's like a smoked clove and like stuffed into a uh stuffed into a fig that's kind of what you're getting on the palate on this one. Um, you know, this is something I can have occasionally. I couldn't drink this all the time, but definitely a pretty um, interesting flavored whiskey here from Journeyman Distillery. All right, guys. So the last one we're going to get into is the Pit Spitter Cherry Flavored Whiskey. Um, so what they do is they take their cherries and put them into uh, Cash Strength Last Feather Rye, and that's how they come up with this. So there is no concentrate. There is no syrups. This is uh, this is truly um, cherry, you know, flavored whiskey. Um, this one again, the mash bill is sixty percent rye, forty percent wheat. Comes in at seventy proof. Let's get in the nose. You know, surprisingly enough, I only get a little bit of that cherry there on the nose. Um, I do still get some of that, like um, some of that kind of smoky kind of clove. There's some vanilla in there, some baking spices. But then, like further into the glass, you do get some of that cherry. Slight kind of hint of like some milk chocolate there. Let's get the palate, guys. Cheers. So, so on that one, you do get um, you do get that big burst of kind of cherry on the on the front and middle of the palate kind of reminds me of some like um like this some additional cherry um you know for me like this one isn't necessarily something i i would uh i would drink or go down but i think it would be it would be interesting in a cocktail though i, I really like to see this in a cocktail because you do get you do get those rye characteristics uh, more so than the wheat characteristics on this one. So you do get some of that spiciness. You do pick out some of that clove, that smoky clove, some of that vanilla. But then the back half of the palate and into the finish, um, that cherry kind of really starts to kind of show up. Uh, it is more of that um, kind of like that artificial kind of cherry note. Um, again, not typically something I would uh, I would get into. Um, I would like to try this one, though, in a cocktail. But um, pretty cool stuff here, guys, from Journeyman Distillery. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big thank you over to the team at Journeyman Distillery for supplying me with these samples here to review on the channel. Guys, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, a really nice lineup and presentation um, sent to me here. Again, um, this uh, Corsets, Whips, and Whiskey was absolutely fantastic. I will be looking for a bottle of this. Um, love the flavor profile of that. Um, 
the uh, the Last Feather Rye, again, very, very good rye whiskey. Um, I'll definitely make sure I enjoy the rest of this bottle here. The Field Rye Whiskey I thought was interesting as well. You do get a lot of that kind of fig influence, but it doesn't overly dominate everything else. You do still get some of those rye characteristics that kind of come through um, on the palate. Uh, the Cherry, you know, flavored whiskey again, you know, that was, um, for me, that's just kind of not up my alley. Um, maybe it would make better for a, for a cocktail um, with just a splash of something, but uh, you know, for me again, you can still kind of taste some of that um, that last feather cash strength um, rye in there. Uh, some of that, um, you know, some of that clove, that smoky clove and vanilla in there. Uh, but on the back half of the palate, the, car uh, the cherry just kind of dominated everything else. But regardless, um, you know, Journeyman Distillery has a lot of different stuff going on. They have a lot of different expressions there. Again, they have gins and vodkas. So again, big shout out to the team over at Journeyman Distillery for supplying with the samples here to review on the channel. Guys, if you're looking for more reviews like this, hit that subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dance with your views. Till next time, guys. Take this.